Hi everyone. Um, as I mentioned in another video just now, oh, a fly just buzzed past. I bought some foundation from Soap and Glory this week called, um, you know what, I can't even remember what it was called because I've given it to somebody already. But um, yeah, it was by Soap and Glory and it was a primer and a foundation in one. The shade was the fairest of them all and I was really excited about this. I bought it online so I didn't actually have time, well I didn't, I wasn't unable to swatch it on my hand. So um, I'm just going to swatch it for you now because I took some and put it in a little um, tub that I got from Sephora. Um, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand so that you can see the colour and then I'm going to compare it to my, you know, standard, um, what I use all the time, my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Um, in shade, I can't remember what I am now, I think it's alabaster, um, which is strange because Clinique also have an alabaster and that's what I used to use when I was 13, so yeah, there's a fact for you. Um, yeah, so this one here is the Makeup Forever, which is my, you know, preferred foundation. I bought the Soap and Glory because I just out of interest wondered if, um, it was going to, sorry I'm just showing, <laughs> I was just looking at my ring there. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd buy this to compare it to it, but unfortunately it's way too dark. So Soap and Glory is not the fairest of them all. Come on guys, make it a bit dark, uh, a bit lighter, because that is way, 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 way too dark for me. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd show, share that, because I was excited about it when I got it, um, but it's way too dark, so I'm just going to put uh, a bit more of this on. There you go. Yeah, see I'm very very pale. And some, yeah. So it's uh, that's way too dark for me. Okay, bye. You want to watch this play outside? Come in now. Say hello. Hello. 